My name's Mark Cantwell, and I'm from Nova Scotia originally. Cool. And where do you live here? I live here in Calgary, Alberta. Awesome. Cool. Uh, and just, I know, but, you know, for everyone else, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been in Alberta now for uh, 18 years. Okay. And at uh, the school? At the school for two and a half years. Awesome. And then you're level six now, going for seven soon. Yes. We think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> So I know you have kind of a diverse uh, background in martial arts. So just kind of take me back to the beginning, right, you know, really quickly. Um, what was your first experience with martial arts? Uh, my first experience with martial arts was uh, with judo. Uh, and that was, you know, back in high school, basically. Right. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a good experience. Uh, you know, I enjoyed my time there. Um, uh, it's, it was definitely, uh, it's more uh, sort of uh, grappling, wrestling style martial art uh, right. as compared to, you know, the kicking arts or, or Kung Fu. Right, okay. So then from Judo, you said you, you left that, and then what happened there? Uh, after Judo, uh, well, I moved out west and then moved to Alberta. Right. And... Uh, was the, was the Taekwondo school before that, or? Oh, yes, yeah, Nova Scotia, I did also go into Taekwondo and there right. was a Jiu Jitsu class there as well. Right. Uh, so I got a little bit of a sampling of uh, some martial arts in Nova Scotia before coming out here. Right. Yeah. Cool. And then after, you, and how long was that collectively in the martial arts in Nova Scotia, would you oh, say? Probably about three and a half years. Okay. And then after you moved to out west? Yep. Um, what did you, what was your martial arts experience like in Calgary or out west in Canada? Uh, well, I got a good sampling out here too. I, uh, you know, I tried, uh, the, the judo clubs out here, uh, got an injury, uh, broken, broken finger from, uh, uh, a match that I was in and, uh, and that took me out of it for, uh, about six months actually for that to heal and mm -hmm. to rehabilitate. Um, Aside from that, I uh, went into uh, Hapkido for a little while to try that out. Uh, I went into uh, uh, Mixed Martial Arts Academy and did uh, a little bit of Muay Thai and boxing. Right, right. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I got a good sampling of uh, martial arts, uh, you know, over my lifetime. Right. Cool. And, and how long was that, like, kind of at each one of those places in in Calgary or around in the surrounding area? Oh, probably just a year in total, actually. Okay, yeah. cool. So what do you, what made you decide to get into Wing Chun to start at this school? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I uh, was watching uh, Hitman. Right. You know, the- uh, the, the first one? The, the first one. The yeah. first one's the best. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I got I started looking into uh, Wing Chun. Um, right. Uh, you know, after after watching uh, Donnie Yen actually do uh, perform some Wing Chun on on, on film, and uh, I mean, how can you not after the the ten black belt scene? <laughs> That's the one, right? Or yeah. was uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I came. Uh, to the academy and uh, to check look into it, and uh, met uh, Dai Si Hing for the first time. And right. He uh, introduced me to the academy and to the people, and uh, awesome. Yeah, we went from there. Cool. Um, so okay, you were inspired by it, man, and and Donnie Yen. So what made you stay for the two and a half years that you've been here now that I that I've known you for? Well, I think, uh, you know, the biggest thing for me was the people, uh, you know, and the atmosphere here at the Academy. It was uh, definitely uh, non-egotistical. It was very uh, welcoming and uh, and the training is, uh, you know, not as uh, not as hard on, on the uh, uh, on you for injuries, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, people are more respectful, take care with the training, and uh, uh, you know are, aren't out to injure each other. Right. Got it. Do you think that that uh, we do any we train for any less 
uh, less worse scenarios, though? Well, I think uh, with body movement, it's, you know, it's all, uh, there's only so many movements that a person can do. Yeah. And that uh, the Wing Chun style covers, you know, all of the, um, all of the angles and all the techniques and right that uh somebody could face in the street and mm -hmm. just uh you know you know every every style has has its own approach but uh right. Wing, Wing Chun's was uh, more unique with its uh defense and attack right uh, style at the same time cool we we all have you know we all have more to learn myself included but you know just as of how you're feeling right now do you feel fairly prepared for something that could come uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, that the, the techniques that we we practice here um, they they ingrain that sort of the body movement in your mind, and it just happens when when you need it to happen. Right. And uh, so I think uh, that it will be, you know, it will it, it makes me well prepared for whatever might might come. Cool. So you mentioned to me just uh, another time that that one of the reasons why you stay at the school is because of Sifu. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, specifically why, you know, what do you respect about him or why, why is that such a big reason for you? I think, uh, you know, what I was uh, most impressed with, uh, with Sifu is that he embodies the uh, traditional martial arts and the, uh, the spirit of, of martial arts, which, uh, uh, it is hard to find now in with modern uh, martial arts academies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's become more of a uh, sport or a um, or something that to get you ready to fight in the ring. And uh, right. and I, I wasn't really looking for those things. I was looking, uh, you know, for the uh, the tr traditional elements of martial arts that that drew me, in, drew me into it in the first place. Right. And and to you, what are those traditional elements? I think, uh, you know, part of it is the, uh, the discipline, um, the, uh, the focus on uh, the breath, the, uh, the inner peace that you feel when you're, you're, you're performing the movements. Uh, right. And, uh, yeah, the ability to stay calm while you're kicking ass. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so you mentioned there was maybe some minor challenges when you started. Um, what were they? Uh, I think, you know, when I first started, uh, I had been out of uh, doing any kind of martial art for so long that uh, my flexibility was uh, not what it used to be. Yeah. And uh, that was one of the challenges uh, was just get, getting back what I had lost in, in terms of flexibility. and you know, uh, within, you know, the first six months, I think I, I saw, you know, a huge improvement in uh, my flexibility and, uh, and it continues to improve, uh, you know, even now. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, is there anything else you think you want to add? Uh, you know, I, I think this, this, uh, academy is, is one of the better choices because, of the people and uh, the atmosphere here. And I, I think uh, if you're looking for a traditional Chinese martial art, this is the place to be. Cool. Uh, and if somebody was sort of on the fence about trying it out, that maybe doesn't have your more diverse background in martial arts, they're not sure about which martial art to choose or which school to choose, what would you say to them? Uh, I think uh, if you're, especially if you're just getting into martial arts and uh, you don't want to get injured uh, and you don't want to, uh, you know, uh, have to put up with the, uh, the egotistical nature of uh, some of the other academies, you would, uh, you might want to choose this academy. Cool. Awesome. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, would it be all right if we use this as a video testimonial? Yeah, sure.